Welcome beautiful people, welcome to another video. I hope you guys are feeling good. I am glad to be back with another video and in today's video, I know you are excited for this one. You are very excited. This is my review for the Man United versus Chelsea game. Now this was one of one for the books. I know the Man City game was very exciting, but this one was even more exciting than the other one. Now this game, the way the game ended, I wouldn't have predicted it. Yes, I was expecting perhaps a draw or even a perhaps a loss but not a win yes i know i said i i am expecting a win but Again, the odds were not looking like they were for us so in terms of this game the way the boys actually showed up but this was a cold palma show without without any without any praise to anyone else at first anyone else at all praise goes to cold palma and the way the, <laughs> the way pochettino celebrated at the end <laughs> he could just tell it all and how important this game was for him to win i mean what i mentioned in my previous video is that we need to be more consistent and this was what this is the consistency that cold palma is helping to show the rest of the players if if the players can learn from cold palma if they can take something tad bit a little bit you know i have mentioned in my previous games you know if you have a goal from cole palma a goal from jackson a goal from mudrick then we have three goals but this time you know what cole palma said man united i have you guys in my pocket i'll not give you one two but three goals the best part of the whole game was when the when, when the player of the game was changed from a man united player to a chelsea player <laughs> it was a very dramatic game very good game very enjoyable game i enjoyed it i liked it i wish we can be playing like this very entertaining game and it was one for the books i am so excited and good good day good day to cole palma and cole palma only the rest of you can decide the rest of the day that you'd like to have <laughs> anyway guys if you're new please like the video share it with your family and friends don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell you'll be notified every time i upload a video so in terms of the starting 11 now it was very interesting starting 11 i got again then again nine out of 11 so guys i I'm a guru at this shit. I'm, a, I'm I'm very good at this thing. So if you need any help with with predicting who is going to start in your starting eleven, just hop onto my channel and welcome again to the new subscribers. I hope you feel at home. So in terms of my starting eleven, in terms of the starting eleven, this is who Poch decided to go with. Petrovic just uh, just just as I predicted. Malagusto Di Sassi, he decided to go with Badia Shile instead of Chaloba. I predicted Chaloba and Kukurela just as I predicted. For the midfield, we had Enzo, Caicedo, Palma, Galaga. In place of Madueke, I placed Madueke. He put Mudrik to start. Then up front, I had I had it correctly, Jackson. So that is seven. That is nine out of eleven, and I'll take it. I mean, hey, I'm not doing so bad. So in terms, now the first half started off eruptively now in terms of the first three games we already had our first goal and this was by our this was by our captain with us is from malagusto we had conagala like, giving us our first goal and i'll take it i mean the goal was incredible and you know he deserves it i mean of course after the last saga that he had and the club even had to release a statement when i saw cloud statement i thought they had fired poch but <laughs> yeah they were like psych gotcha guys so <laughs> in terms of the game yesterday now as i mentioned first half three minutes in the game we have our first goal so it was recorded as, as the fourth minute Conor galaga our captain has the first goal and this gives us the morale of course we are at home and the atmosphere is of course very intense i mentioned in my preview that in terms of the first half if we're able to go a goal up or two goals up if we go to halftime at least let us be two nil up let us not concede any goals but this was not the case for this game we considered the same number of goals that we scored them so when <laughs> when the game was going on in the ninth minute we had a luck opportunity where we had a penalty now Paul palmer got the penalty got to take the penalty and cool calm and collected got his first goal now this was his penalty and he'll take it i mean i'll take it open play penalty a goal is the goal so i'll take it this was our second goal in our leading two nil up you'd feel confident but you know it's not yet over till it's over till the till the last minute till <laughs> till the 112th 111th minute it's not yet over till it's over ask manu they know about it very well <laughs> in 
anyway guys in terms of in terms of the first half now ganacho had his first goal of course he had at the 34th minute ganacho had his first goal in terms of the 39th minute bruno fernandez had his goal in terms of ganacho's goal of course very big mistake by kaisedo he beat himself up so much for it and i feel like if we lost yeah a lot of blame would have been going to kaisedo but we won the game so he has been saved by this one so we we considered a goal by due, we considered a goal our first goal due to kaisedo's mistake but we were able to recover from it in the second half so we we considered a second goal then again by bruno fernandez i mean the header it was just yeah 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 we considered a goal and honestly i wasn't holding my breath we were two to draw when we were going to half time and then this then again this could have been anyone's match man united would have wanted to prove a point as poch put it they were they are a big team in terms of the premier league they are above us so yes they were going to be a challenge don't get me wrong and don't underestimate me don't 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 don't, don't let me underestimate their don't let me underestimate their strength because they were actually really good in this game yes ten hag thought that they deserved to win but <laughs> i guess the results say otherwise <laughs> anyway coming to the second half this is where we also made the substitutions a bit later but before we made the substitutions now in terms of the 67th minute man united oh, <laughs> man united went up and they were leading 3-2 so going up, they are feeling extra confident. We are feeling a little less confident. Three goals up, we are two goals down. And honestly, I am losing hope. I am feeling like we have we have lost this game. We have thrown away this game despite despite being despite leading the game we are still going to forfeit this game and i was feeling bummed honestly and i am glad we turned things around because yo 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 <laughs> although it was towards the last minute we made we made some substitutions in terms of substitutions we had kaisedo going out chukomeka coming in we had sterling we had sterling coming we had selling in we had Sterling coming in and Modric going out. We had Chaloba coming in and Disasi going out. Then we also had Gilchrist coming in for Gusto. Then finally we had Madweke coming in for Galaga. Then this is where the whole game changed towards the ending of the game. Now this, this is, is where the whole drama was and it was very interesting to see how the boys played because in terms of the 90 plus 10th minute, this is where we had our penalty. Now Dallas had the challenge against Madweke and we won our penalty. <laughs> some people some people dispute it not to be a penalty but i will say it's a penalty so i'll take it and we got to we got a penalty this was called palmer's second goal and he got the goals again cool come and collected his second goal and to top it all off with the hat trick we are we are now draw three three this is either man's game it can go either way but you know man united this season they have been going three goals up only for them to lose the game <laughs> <laughs> it's honestly sad or oh, they will go a goal up only for them to draw at the end of the day so it was a very interesting game and in terms of the last minute goal we had Cole Palmer giving a banging goal a banging goal Cole Palmer Cole Palmer this was Cole Palmer's game and this is where we had in terms of the score prediction I predicted a 2-1 win for Chelsea yes I expected us to concede goals not three goals but we won with four goals so I'll take it I'll take it and we have moved yes we have moved from 12th position to 10th and Man United I think stay at 6th so our, in terms of this game the results were very interesting and in terms of how it went i am glad i witnessed it is this one of our best games of the season and perhaps but so far so good i enjoyed it this is entertainment top tier it doesn't get any better than this and if you can be playing this game in game out why not why not why wouldn't we support you the consistency is all we're asking for in terms of this game the results were very outstanding i am glad with how the results went way off in terms of my prediction but i'll take it we won it so i'll take it three points now in terms of the player of the match this had to be changed now first it went to ganacho then it had to be overturned last minute when cole palmer scored his hat trick i mean <laughs> some fans some fans are very angry you know they're asking i mean what did cole palmer do in the game there were penalties it was not open play goals i mean yeah it should have still get, gone to ganacho but cole palmer is one of the best signings of the season argue with your keyboard or not argue with whoever you were or you want or not but he is one of the player signings of the season 
we'll have to accept that we we'll have to accept that so kudos to gold family that was my video guys if you're new to the channel please like the video share it with your family and friends don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell you'll be notified every time i upload a video welcome to all the new subscribers and i cannot wait to show you guys what i have in store please make sure you stay tuned and i'll see you in my next video